Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a little collective haul for you all. There's a mixture of jewelry, makeup, home stuff, hair stuff. There's like a little bit of everything today. So uh, let's get into the video. So first up, we have some bits from Regal Rose. Very excited about this. And Regal Rose is one of those brands that I always go back to. I've been a customer for years and they have very kindly sponsored this video. And the best bit is for you guys, they've actually given me a discount code for the website that I will put on screen and also down below. So if you do wanna save some money, make sure you check that out. So Regal Rose, I love ya. They let me go ham on the Regal Rose website and let me tell you, when I opened this box, I near enough fell over. I am so excited about this. There's a mixture of like piercing bits, there's some rings, there's like some bracelets, necklaces, a little bit of everything. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. I am so excited for this. And of course, if you guys do wanna check out anything for yourself, I'll leave all the links to everything down below alongside my discount codes. But yeah, let's dive in. Honestly, Regal Rose do some of the most amazing pieces. You guys know, I kind of like, I guess like a gothic-y style of jewelry a lot of the time. I like to wear my rings, I have a lot of ear piercings, and I always like to wear really big chunky necklaces. And honestly, if you guys are into that, Regal Rose is the place to go because they do everything from like simplistic things to some like really, really out there pieces. And let me tell you, the quality of Regal Rose pieces is absolutely insane. And the price point, okay. They do have some more pricey items on the website, but they do so many good pieces for like way cheaper than most places. Basically check out Regal Rose because if you like the kind of jewelry that I wear, you're really gonna like them. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dive in. First of all, the packaging is really, really nice. Like imagine this, just like a little gift, put in a little gift bag, sorted. Ah, look how cool this is. I'll make sure I do like proper, proper close-ups, but can you guys see there? It's like an encapsulated skull. And a lot of these pieces are from their new collection. Their new collection is just like, it's just me all over. Okay, let's pop this on that finger. I love that. I have very shaky hands today, like I always do, but look at that, guys. How sick is that? And they do loads of silver pieces as well. And you guys know, I pretty much exclusively wear silver jewelry. I don't know, I just I just always prefer it over gold. But yeah, this was something that was a little bit more out there for me, but I absolutely love it. It's almost like a little like gravestone with a skull inside. They do these in a few different colors as well, but oh my God, I love that. And it's the perfect fit. I literally just measured my finger and like put in the size on the website and that fits perfectly, so. Very happy about that. Okay, what's next? Let's go in with another one of these boxes. <sighs> so this is called the Betrothal, might be saying that wrong, Garnet Silver Ring. So Garnet is actually my birthstone. And like I said, I usually tend to wear like a lot of chunky rings, but a lot of the time they're quite simple. I don't tend to wear too many stones, but I wanted to mix it up. So, oh my God, if I put it on this finger, it literally looks like an engagement ring. I Love that. It's a silver band and you've got two little crystals on the side with the garnet stone in the middle. And they do a bunch of different stones as well, but I love that. People are gonna think I'm engaged now. If you just like tune to the video and I'm just there like this, hello. I'll probably drum up some like Instagram engagement with that or something, but so far I'm already obsessed. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, this was one of the items that I was just dying to get. So this is called the Bound Hearts and Barbed Wire Band Ring. And again, this is in silver. Again, I'll make sure I do like some proper, proper close-ups for you, but look at that. It's like barbed wire, but then you've also got a little heart right in the center. I think I got this for like one of my middle fingers. Oh, that is so nice. Oh my God. Let me stack it up with my one with my mum's ashes in. Okay, I love that. I love that so much. And I can also twist it to the side if I want the actual like barbed wire bits at the front. Look how nice these are. Oh my God. My ring collection is about to just level up so hard. So this is kind of like a combination of two of these rings. This is the Revival Green CZ Thorn Band Ring. CZ, I feel like I should know what that means. Cubic Zirconia. I'm guessing it's Cubic Zirconia. <sighs> Never really had a green ring before, but I figured it's time to start, so let's pop that one on there. God, I literally never wear any kind of gems. I'm like, I'm very monochrome, like all the time. But I was looking on the website and they had so many cute bits like this that I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna dabble. 
and very happy to be part of the dabbling club. Oh, wow. That is so nice. And again, not to like, not to give you guys the middle finger, even though I always seem to in all my videos. If I just turn it around, you can see it's got like a thorn effect on the actual band itself. That in itself, like, that would be a cool ring as well. Okay, I think I know what this is. This is the Gwen multi-wrap chunky silver chain. And if I remember correctly, you can basically wear this as a necklace. You can even like wrap it around a few times and wear it as like a really, really chunky bracelet, or you can wear it as like a belly chain. And this is heavy. Like the quality of this is absolutely insane. So I'm sure you guys can see here, but there's a lot going on. You've got one of these, what are they called again? Bana, Bania, Barania, Carabina. Is that how you say it? You can also like connect it around like that as well, which is something I would probably do. This is one of those necklaces that you know you guys will see me a lot in. Like I have that padlock necklace that I always wear. This is cool. I really, really like this. And yeah, you can also wear it as like a little belly chain. Let me just take this off quickly. See if I can figure this out. That, yep. Yep, 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 it's like a little belt. You can wear it higher up. You can wear it like that as well. I'm gonna wear it like this. I like how it like drapes down. Uh, yeah, love that. That's like my new fave. Okay, what else we got? Then I've got this little box here. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I might need to take out some of my earrings in a second and show you in the cutaway because that will take a little bit of time. But look at this ear cuff. This is called the Minerva Snake Ear Wrap Cuff. Let's see if I can figure out how I put this on. Let's try and go over my other piercings right now. So I might struggle to actually put this on over my current piercings, but the idea is is it'll sit up like that. That is a bit of me. People always tell me I don't need any more earrings, but I'm like, why not? They're fun. That is so nice. Let me just give you a little close up. I'm a snack. Next is another little box. This, it's like Christmas, but like I know kind of what I'm getting. Oh my God, I forgot about this. Let me in. This is called the Torn Short Dagger Single Earring. So if I show you there as well, you can see it's just this little dagger. And if I just pop out one of these earrings here, and which way do I want the dagger to go? Maybe like, yeah, let's do it this way. So pop it in like that. Oh, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not on this one, that's fake. I might put this through my conch and have it like poking out the back. Let's just try it on this one to begin with. That is sick. Now that's actually so cool. Oh, <gasps> I've got my little dagger to match up here as well. Now we have, these are the heart chain hoops. Okay, these are gorgeous. Look at those. I love a hoop. So let's pop one of these in. I might pop both of these in actually. They've just got a standard butterfly back and, oh, I love these. And I think it goes without saying as well, all of the materials that they use are like genuine materials. Look! And if I just wear my hair, like how I normally would, you can just see them poking out. They are stunning. Okay, we've still got a lot more to go through. Next is the safety pin silver earring. Okay, look at this. It just looks like a standard safety pin. Let's pop this through, which one should we do? Maybe like this third one here? So it just works like a normal safety pin. Try not to poke my ear out there. Pop that in. I would most likely wear it on my first lobe, but you can just see it in action there. I wonder actually if, maybe I could even go through like two of them at once. I'm like thinking now, like, could I fit that through like multiple holes? But yeah, I just thought that was really cute as well. Just something a little bit different. Honestly, 14 year old emo Steph would be screaming right now. Okay, next we have the Resolute Chunky Chain Hoop Earrings. So these are very, very similar to the ones that I've got in right now. But as you can see, these are just standard hoops. Should we pop these in as well? Why not? Oh, I, these might be like my new go-to. They're like something a little bit more subtle. These I'd probably wear, I don't know if I'm like going out or something, or you know, if I'm just like washing the car. But these are like a slightly more conservative earring, just a little hoop and they work so well with all my other little piercings. Which ones do you guys prefer? The standard hoop or the little heart? I'm not sure, so I'm gonna keep them both in. Got one more little bag here. 
Oh my God, this was another one of the rings that I just saw and I was like, I have to have you. This is called the Survival Symbolic Barbed Wire Silver Ring. And I got this in a size small. Where should we put it? Put it next to my garnet one there. How, how cute is that? It's just this really, really skinny, quite dainty almost, little barbed wire ring. That is really cute as a thumb ring. I am obsessed with all of these. Okay, next we have this little box here. This is the Amour Silver Rose Stem Stud Earrings. So I just got a single one of these, again, just because I like to mix and match things with my ears. And I might not be able to show you guys this now because it takes me a little bit of concentration with my nails. I thought that right up here on my flat would look so cute. So hopefully you guys can see. Again, I'll make sure I show you like proper cutaways, but it's this tiny little rose. It's got a flat back as well, so when I'm lying down, it's not gonna like dig into the side of my head. But yeah, I thought that would look so cute up there. We then got the symbolic barbed wire stud earring. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. I'm really kind of feeling the barbed wire. And again, I'll show you guys a little close-up of that. You might not be able to see in this cutaway, but it's just this little barbed wire knot. I don't know if I'll be able to put it in my third. You know what? This safety pin earring as well, if I ever need to like, clip some things together or whatever, I can just, just clip it to my earring. And again, this has a flat back as well. I'm gonna struggle to get the actual back on, but you guys can see that's what it looks like. That's the kind of idea I had, you see? Oh, I like you. So, I'm not gonna be getting my septum re-pierced anytime soon. For those of you that don't know, when I was a rebellious teenager, I got it done without my parents knowing, uh, and then took it out like a few months later, but I do love how a septum piercing looks and I don't know, I might get like one of those little fake ones, like a really tiny little skinny ring. What do you guys think? But I got this and even though it's a septum piercing, I figured I could use it in my ears. So if I just show you the design there, you can see it's got a little barbed wire there. And I figured that uh, I need a few more holes in my ears. So I think I'm gonna get another bit of my cartilage pierced. And I thought that would look really, really nice there or even just like a little hoop around here or something. Either way, saving that for a rainy day, I love how that looks. But yeah, let me know. What do you think of me with like, a, not a real one, so don't get too worried here, but a little fake septum ring. I don't know. I just love how they look on other people and I want one. Okay, so those are all the bits that I got from Regal Rose. Honestly, they absolutely spoiled me. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, I'll link everything down below. And if you guys do also wanna use the discount code, I'll put that on screen now and also down below as well. Now let's move on to, I know what I'm gonna move on to. Okay, I've been hiding these in my drawer. I got quite a few cat toys. I am ready to stock up on Christmas toys for the boys. And I, I go a little bit ham with them for Christmas and I, I buy them too many toys as it is. Like anytime I see something cute, I'm like, oh, they need that. They need that. It's more so just for me. I'm like, like, look at this, a little lime green fuzzy unicorn. I'm like, that is so cute. I wish I could just have that and I can but I can just say it's for them. So I got a few toys for the boys in, where did I get all of these? These two are from Pets at Home and then this one I got from TK Maxx. So this is the Pawsey Meow Meow Life, great name. Um, it's, just, it's just this little like green unicorn and I love him. And he was 2.99. I then got these catnip donuts because again, like anything food related, I'm just like, yes, and there's two of them. So two cats, two donuts, two for me. And then I also got this random thing. I don't really know what this is, but I know that Pepe in particular will love it. So I've been keeping them in the drawer because they're not allowed them until Christmas. Unless I, unless I need them to be quiet one day and I just like throw them a toy and I'm like, there you go. But uh, yeah, I'm keeping them hidden until Christmas and I will probably buy them literally like another 15 toys in the run up to Christmas. Um, but yeah, got those as well. Don't you just love the transition there? We've gone from like really, really stunning jewelry to donut cat toys. There's one thing I guys give you on this channel, it's variety. The next thing I got is also for Christmas. And if you guys have been around here for a while, you know that every year now I have an ugly Christmas tree and I call it my ugly Christmas tree, but actually I love it. And it's just full of like all these weird decorations. So I got this from Asda, Asda do the best decorations. And this is one pound 50. It's literally like these lips with braces, I look like something out of the purge right now. But yeah, I got that as well. Can't wait to put that on my tree. 
Great. Okay, now let's move into the more like makeup-y homeware stuff. So I went to Beach yesterday because I needed some cotton buds and some floss. So got those. We don't need to talk about them anymore. But then I also went and got the Beauty Bakery Eyelash Icing Fiber Enriched Mascara. I've tried out quite a few things from Beauty Bakery, but I haven't tried this out. So I was like, let's give it a go. And then I realized that they had like, this offer on where if you spend over, I think it was like if you spent over 20 pounds or 22 pounds or something like that, then you get this free kit. So I then just went and picked up some of these sleek lashes. These are in the style Natural Wispy and they look quite nice and I hadn't tried them before. So I thought they'll come in handy. And I also really kind of wanted this, even though I don't need any more makeup, but I was, I, when I see a free gift, I'm like, oh, better get it. So this is called the Let It Glow Beauty Hero Set by Boots. And I really like, the little makeup bag that comes with it. I already have some of these products anyway, but I don't have this Rimmel mascara. I've tried the Colossal mascara, but I will pass that on to a friend. They've then got a Revolution Matte Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray, which I'll probably pass on as well. And then we've got this really nice little red Essie nail polish here, which looks really, really nice. But yeah, I just, I got this because I, like I said, I can't say no to a free gift. Um, so yeah, just a heads up in boots at the moment. If you spend over like 20 or 22 pounds or something, you'll get this and it's worth like over 25 pounds, which is pretty cool. I think they also do another one. I think they do one with like a dewy setting mist. I saw it in London the other day with, I think like an elf lip gloss, some other sort of mascara. So they do do a few different options, but they only had this one in my local. But yeah, I'm very curious about this mascara not heard anyone talk about it. And I think these lashes, if I like fluff them up just a tiny bit, you know, when you like just fluff them up with a spoolie, I feel like these could look really, really nice. So then, like I said, I was in London the other day and I flew this time. It always makes me feel very fancy, but actually it was one of those propeller planes. I swear there's like 30 seats on the plane. They're tiny and I'm not a good flyer at all. So when they're like going through the air and being blown around, I'm like, Oh my God. But anyway, I went through duty free and I had an hour or so to kill. So I thought I would just go and check out some of the fragrances, even though I don't need any more. The fragrance video will come soon, I promise you. I'm definitely gonna be doing one on TikTok very, very soon as well. But on the day I was coming back, it was actually the anniversary of my mum passing. It was like, I don't know how this time has gone so fast, but it was three years the other day since she passed away. And I ran out of this uh, like a couple of months ago. So I picked up another one of these. It's the YSL uh, Reeve Gauche Perfume. My mum used to wear this all the time. This might this might make me a bit emotional because I haven't smelled it in a while. But yeah, I got this because it was also like up to 40% off selected fragrances. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was maybe like 40-ish pounds or something. Oh my God. It's one of my old lady perfumes, okay? Sorry, mum, but it's a very like classic, love it or hate it kind of perfume, but I freaking love it. So nice. And then I got the Givenchy Yisatis, I think that's how you say it, Yisatis, whatever it is. It's this one. And I'm not sure if my mom ever wore this one, but I know she got it for me for Christmas, maybe like five years or so ago. This one was a little bit more expensive. It's quite a big bottle. Hang on, wait, now I'm confused. They've, they've, cha they've changed the bottle. I tried the tester. Please tell me it's the same perfume. I like this bottle a lot more, but this better be the same one. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Okay, they've updated the bottle. And that looks way more sophisticated than the one before. The one before was like definitely a bit more of like an old lady perfume kind of bottle. But this one is giving like, oh, my face looks really, my face looks, hello. You see my face in the background there? Hi, yeah. Um, what was I saying? This, this bottle just looks a lot more classic, I think. So thank you for not changing the scent. I haven't had this in maybe like a year or so. I love this. Again, very, very old lady-ish but so good. Givenchy do like such good like old lady perfumes. I really like that bottle. Huh. But yeah, I bought those two when I was on my way back from London. I really love that bottle, you know. I know it's so simple, but I'm really into that. All right, rubbish, be gone. Okay, so now move on to my fave TK Maxx. And my TK Maxx has been killing it recently. Just saying. So the first thing I got, which I am so excited to use when I have a shower later, is this scalp scrub thing. What's it even called? Scalp massager. I haven't had one of these six years or so. I haven't had one for maybe like six or so years because obviously I had extensions for so long and you can't really like go around your head with one of these when you have extensions in. But I saw it, it was in the sales section. Honestly, the sales section in my local TK Maxx at the moment is popping off. But look, oh. 
Oh, that, yes. I could just sit here all day and do that. I don't want to mess up my hair too much, but also kind of don't care. Oh my God, that's like the, <gasps> that's the best feeling ever. All the blood's like going to my head. Oh, bit of volume there, maybe. But these are so good for just getting blood to your scalp. Apparently they can help make your hair grow a little bit more. I just kind of want it because it feels really, really good. It feels like, like, you know, you just give yourself a good scrub when you're shampooing your hair. It's like that on crack. So good. And this was four pounds. The next thing I got in the sale was another one of my This Work sprays. So this is the Sleep Together Calming Spray. Normally these are 22 pounds. I got this for a tenner and I normally use the, it's just like the standard sleeping spray that they do. But I think this smells the same to be honest. And I'm running a little bit low on my other one. Yeah, it smells pretty similar to the other one that I had and I swear by the This Work sprays. I spray them on my pillow every single night. I even have like a little travel one that I go away with just so like even if I'm in a different hotel room, not that I ever have trouble sleeping. I can literally sleep like on the floor if I need to, but I always just give my pillow a little spritz of that. And so yeah, saw it in the sale, thought, I'm gonna need another one of those probably in the next few weeks or so. So I got another one. It says, relax together, sleep better together for busy days and brighter mornings. Ollie doesn't like these kinds of things. So it's not, probably not gonna help him, but it'll help me. So yeah, got that. Another thing I got from the sale was this primer here from Rodeal. So this is normally 30 pounds and I got it for eight. I just figured, I mean, I don't even know if you can still get it, but I love just trying out everything at this point. And it says that it's an instant glow primer for a warm and flawless glow. So I figured I would give it a shot. We'll see what it's like. And it's completely sealed, which is fab. So let's open this up and try it out on the back of my hand. Okay, so it's got like quite a warm gold color to it. I'll just blend it out for you, just so you can see the color a little bit better. You guys see that there? That does look quite nice though. I always use my, where's it gone? Where are you? I always use my Drunk Elephant Drops and these make you really, really bronzy. So on some days that I don't maybe wanna look as bronzy, this could actually be a good option because it's got a nice sheen to it there. That actually looks really, really nice. But yeah, I couldn't believe that that was like eight pound in the sale. Honestly, like the next time I'm in that area again, I think I'm just gonna spend some time just digging through the sale bits because they had maybe like, eight or nine boxes of like boxes of makeup. So not like old makeup that had been used or anything. It was just like boxes of what seemed to be brand new stuff. So I need to spend some time and actually dig through there because I love finding a little bargain. I then saw this in the makeup section and I've actually been running low on my NARS concealer and this was only 8.99. So it retails for 26 pounds normally and you have three different concealers in there. So you've got the shade Vanilla, Custard and Biscuit. I've worn Vanilla and Custard before but never biscuits. So I thought I would just get these. Also, I'm traveling a lot more at the moment. Like I'm going to and from London all the time. And it's just nice to have little like mini size concealers so I can just do my makeup on the train or whatever. But yeah, this one here is vanilla. This is the shade custard that I would normally use. But actually this one, biscuit, looks like a pretty good color for me at the moment. Looks like it'll be a pretty good color for me to do kind of like, I'll use a bit of custard, around my face and then put a little bit of concealer like to contour with almost. And yeah, it's like a slightly more bronzy color. That on the hollows of my cheeks, I feel like will work really, really well. So very excited to have those. And again, they were like 8.99. So I figured why not? Honestly, you get me in TK Maxx and I don't care if I have like 10 of something, if it's a good deal, I'll be like, I'll think about that later. Off I go to the till. Okay, we have a few more bits left to go through. They are all home related. Look how cool these glasses are. I actually wanna get more of these because I'm obsessed with them. So these are the, ready? Bormioli Rocco glasses and they're the Sorgenti, Sorgenti, Sorgenti style, I'm assuming. And these cost me $8.99. And the reason I got them was purely for aesthetic reasons. Again, don't really need any more glasses, but we're at the stage at the moment where we've got so much mismatched cutlery. We've got so many like mismatched glasses and like mugs and everything. And I wanted some pretty ones and look how cool these are. I am obsessed with them. And the best bit is, is they're rounded, if you guys can see that on the top. So they're not like this weird shape that when you drink, it's like your mouth's trying to get around it. That's what she said. And it's like, it just becomes awkward to drink from. They're just like normal glasses, but they look so cool. And so yeah, there's four of those in there. They also did some other sizes, like some slightly taller ones. And yeah, I think I might actually go back 
and get some more and just have these as like my day-to-day -day glasses because they're just really cool. That's how you know you're becoming an adult. Oh, another thing that I got that wasn't from TK Maxx, I actually got it when I was in London as well and it might be boring to a lot of you guys, but I got myself another pop magazine. I have loved these magazines for years and they are <laughs> so thick and so heavy and I can't help it. That is potentially what she also said, but this one has Kendall Jenner on the front. They have a bunch of different covers and it's the Autumn Winter 22 one. I'm trying to see what issue it is. Issue number 47. And yeah, these are massive and they're only £6.50. Like a standard Vogue magazine or something costs like around a fiver. You get a lot more on this one. And I just love looking at these mostly for the pictures. Like they do really, really good articles in here as well, but they just do so many cool different like editorial shoots. So she just like shoot after shoot after shoot and I love it. So I got that as well. If you guys haven't read Pop Magazine or even just like flip through it, they're really good like coffee table books as well because people will just like flip through them or if I'm bored or you know, anything, they're just good to have. And uh, yeah, so I got that as well. But let me tell you, dragging that through the airport was <laughs> not fun. <gasps> okay, so then last not least, I am so excited about this one. And I, I went into TK Maxx yesterday. This is on sale. It was only on sale by like four extra pounds, but still I was like, God, God damn you. But I don't know why I needed this, but I just did. So I saw this in my local TK Maxx. And at first I looked at it because I was like, what the hell's that? It's just this like big ass medicine ball. So it's three kg. And then I saw it was Zara Home, which I know shouldn't like sway me, but I saw it from this angle. And I just thought it looked really cool. Like I've been looking, like Manning Devoir do like their own basketball and I've been looking at it just for like a little decorative thing. And then I saw this and I was like, wait, that on a shelf? Cause it's like, it's not that heavy. Or like my little like makeup shelf, or whatever. I would really like that on there. And so I got this for 20 pounds. I think normally it's around about 50. Yeah, normally it's 50 pounds, but I got it for 20 and I love it. And it's also useful, you know, if I do want to suddenly start exercising at some point in my life, I can use it as a medicine ball, which is what it should be used for, but I'm going to use it for the aesthetic, you know? But yeah, I was chuffed with that. Like the most unnecessary object I think I've probably bought from TK Maxx in a long time, but I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm going to put it behind me. Let's put it like here. Balance, stay there. Nice. So yeah guys, that is everything that I picked up recently. Let me know your thoughts on the big ball back there, on the glasses, on the perfumes, like anything like that. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know as well, like when you guys go to TK Maxx or TJ Maxx, if you're in America, what is the thing you tend to look for? Like I obviously gravitate towards the makeup section. Do you go in for the homeware, the makeup, the shoes? I've been looking for the guest loafers. Can't find them anywhere in my size, but I'm keeping my eyes out. But like, I literally just like, I spend so much time in that shop, it's ridiculous. Anyway guys, that is it from me for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. And as always, I'll leave links to everything that I can find in the description box down below alongside my Regal Rose discount codes. Thank you once again to Regal Rose for sponsoring that portion of today's video. I uh, can't believe I'm working with Regal Rose. That's pretty major. But anyway, guys, that is it from me today. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I love my ball.